top. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna make this as fast as I can because I really have to go pee. So I made three health bars. Put a little etch into there. I don't know, it's not really important. Uh, one is going to be the border, one is going to be the, <coughs> the uh, actual health bar, the other is going to be a mask because we're going to be using the Unity UI system. So let's start by creating three images, duplicate it three times. We're going to rename it to mask, rename this to the health, we're going to rename this to the border. <coughs> Put them up here, make them up, make them up a bit. Kind of like where a health bar would be at. And then let's apply the images. I've already imported the images, so that part's not actually on there. Oops, this is the mask, not the backdrop. That's going to be this. This is the health bar. It's gray for a reason. We'll see that in a second. And this is the border. That. Uh, this looks okay. Grab all these, all three of these, shrink them up, move them all over. We we'll go to health bar. Real health bars are red. So that's why it's gray. It's because now I don't need to make multiple health bars. If I want to make an energy bar or I want to make a mana bar, I can just change the color in Unity. It's one of the nice things about Unity. I'm also going to shrink this just a smidge so it doesn't stick out. There. I'm going to drag this portion over to here, <coughs> which is basically where the health starts. I'm going to drag this portion over to here, which is where the health... Uh, well, I guess that starts and that ends. Uh, it still sticks out, and that's why we're going to take advantage of the masking feature. Create a new mask, um, and then we're going to drag the health bar onto the mask, and you'll see that it kind of fixes it. See, it hides it. Um, if we put this down there, you'll see it still it shows the mask, the picture, the mask. If we cl click on that, it'll actually oops, it'll actually get rid of the mask graphic. Um, but I like it kind of, so I'm going to keep that on. Now we're going to create an empty object called player. Quickly rename player. We're going to add a player script. And we're going to add a health bar script onto the health bar. These scripts are empty right now. So player has a couple of values a current HP and a max HP which I will set in the start function. So the max HP equals 500 and the current HP equals the max HP. And taking damage. Player is going to be taking damage, so the current HP minus input is 0 0.75. At every update, the player is going to take 0.75 damage. In the health bar class, we're going to have a public vector 3 <coughs> called health bar scale and a public basic player, which is the name of the player object, whatever you wanted to name it, a player. The HP scale is going to be equal to vector3.1, which is the same as writing new vector of size 111, just shorter that way. Okay. During the update, the HP scale.x is going to be equal to the player's current HP over their max HP. Um, pretty sure we have to put this in float form because they're doubles. I like doubles a lot because I like to use really big values. But we're going with the percentage, so we'll put it in float. Hit F8 and make sure that works. Okay. Now we can. What we can do is say that the transform dot local scale equals HP scale. So the reason uh, I'm doing it this way is I'm actually gonna I attach the health bar directly to the health. I attach the script to the health, so I can say this.transform, otherwise I'd have to put in a public transform and then just point it to the right object. So we go over to the health bar in Unity, we drag our player on there so it knows where the player is, and we hit play. <coughs> it shrinks towards the middle, which is not what we're looking to get, so to fix that we go here, make sure that this thing that I'm clicking is on pivot mode, Bit. We drag the circle to where we want it to shrink to, and we hit play. And we'll get it go. Beautiful. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, just over five minutes.